Hey, this is Pastor Jonathan, and welcome to Holy Week Unwind, where every single day this week we're going to walk through Scripture leading up to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And so today we're going to find ourselves in John chapter 12. By the way, this actually, the journey started yesterday in our online service in Matthew chapter 21, where we see Jesus riding on a colt into Jerusalem, the triumphal entry. Um, and then today we're finding ourselves where Jesus is at the house of Lazarus, the one he raised from the dead, along with Martha and Mary. So we're going to jump in John chapter 12, verse 1. Six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from the dead. A dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made from essence of nard, and she anointed Jesus' feet with it, wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance. But Judas Iscariot, the disciple who would soon betray him, said, That perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold and the money given to the poor. Not that he cared for the poor. He was a thief, and since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. And Jesus replied, Leave her alone. She did this in preparation for my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. When all the people heard of Jesus' arrival, they flocked to see him and also to see Lazarus, the man Jesus had raised from the dead. Then the leading priest decided to kill Lazarus too, for it was because of him that many of the people had deserted them and believed in Jesus. Two quick things I just want to draw attention to. One is Judas, right? And we have some people who they feel their role is to judge people's worship because they have a, a better way they could have spent the time or spent the resource, so to speak. Judas says, hey, what a waste. A year's wages on anointing Jesus' feet. We could have, you know, given this money to the poor, but in reality, the scripture exposed Judas's motive for thinking that way is because he knew that, yeah, let's give to the poor so I could skim some off the top for myself. Listen, the contrast as Mary's worshiping is this. Judas is saying, what a waste. And she's saying, no, I'm willing to waste it all on Jesus. You see the contrast? And I love how it says that the fragrance filled the room. And I believe she honored Jesus. And he even said, this is pre a preparation for my burial. And so they probably didn't even conceive what he was talking about. But I love Mary's willingness to, to pour it all out on Jesus. Nothing is wasted when we're, when we're pouring it all out to Jesus. So I just want to encourage you this week um, as we walk through Scripture, make time to worship God to lay at his feet, to, to give him your all and to give him your everything. Um, I'm excited for this Holy Week Unwind and we'll be back tomorrow morning with another video dropping at 10.30 a.m. God bless you and have a wonderful Monday.